I will take these, press enter, and I'm importing these files. I took images over three nights, so I need to add all of them. Also here. And the final and third night, I took some more images, so I need to add those as well. And that will be these here. So you can see here, I've now got 266 files and each file was 180 seconds. I'm gonna name my project here, Trippid, 266 files, 180 seconds, and they were taken in RGB. So now I'm going to press convert. And what this is going to do it's going to convert all my images into FITS files, which it will then use to stack. This may take uh, a few minutes. All 266 files have been converted, and you can also see that none of them failed. I'm not using calibration frames for the sake of this video, but if you were, you would you go to this tab next. So I'm going to Registration, and in here, the settings I've got set are global star alignment, and I've got it set to the green channel, but it could be any channel. The other thing which is important, register all images from the sequence, and I use this algorithm, Lansos 4. Click Go Register, and what it's going to do is it's going to work out uh, it's going to work out exactly each file, how it needs to be moved so that it can be stacked exactly on top of the other files. So in other words, it's going to match all the files and move them if they need to be moved according to the position of the stars in those images. 211 have been registered. Now we go to the sh stacking tab. And the settings you want are under method, average stacking with rejection, normalization, additive with scaling, and pixel rejection, you want Windsorized sigma clipping. And you can see that it's going to stack now 211 images. And then when that's completed, you'll see the stacked image in the window here. Rejection stacking is now complete, and as you can see up here, we have our final image. Now, Cyril allows you to stretch the image automatically, and this is not actually doing this for real in the image. It's just allowing us to see what it will look like when it's stretched. However, it's all green. Why is it all green? Because it needs to be calibrated. And this is why I love Cyril. It is possible to do quite sophisticated processing in Cyril, and all for free. Image processing, let's go to color calibration, color calibration, select an area that has no stars, let's say this area here, and then use current selection, background neutral Rization. and here we need a bright area let's choose it here with star use current selection and apply that has now calibrated the colors and that's our stacked image in my next video I'll continue with this stacked image and I'll put it through both Cyril and Photoshop and show you my entire workflow and how I go from stacked image to final image. This has been Carl, your guide 
on Astro Imagery. Please smash the like and subscribe to get all future videos and the one that's coming very, very soon.